In this video, we will discuss how rectifier converts AC signal into DC signal. My name is Amol Sonone and I am lecturer in electrical engineering department from KKWAK Polytechnic Nasik. So before start our lecture, let's overlook the contents. So in this video, first we will see what is rectifier, then types of rectifier and working of rectifier. So first let's see what is rectifier. Rectifier is a device which converts AC supply into DC supply. So here I hope everyone knows what is AC supply and what is DC supply. Now let's see its type. So depending upon the nature of output, rectifiers are classified as half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier. And full wave rectifier further classified as full wave center tap rectifier and full wave bridge rectifier. Now let's see the working of rectifier. So first let's consider half wave rectifier. So this is simple circuit diagram of a half wave rectifier. Now let's see process of how half wave rectifier converts AC voltage to the DC voltage. So first a high voltage AC supply is given to the primary of step down transformer and we will get a low voltage at secondary side which is uh, applied to the diode. So during positive up cycle of AC voltage, the diode will be forward bias and the current flows through the diode. And during negative up cycle of AC supply, diode will be reverse biased and the flow of current will be blocked because in reverse biasing, diode will act as a open circuit. So the output of diode will be as shown in this waveform. So in this way, uh, we will get only positive output at the uh, output terminal of uh, rectifier. So this output is actually pulsating DC and this will be converted into pure DC by using filters. Now let's see working of second rectifier that is full wave center tap rectifier. So this is circuit diagram for full wave center tap rectifier. It is uses a center tap transformer, hence it called as a full wave center tap rectifier. As shown in this figure, secondary of transformer has three terminals and the middle terminals is always a zero while other two terminals are have a alternating values like positive or negative. So connections of two diodes are as shown in this figure. Now when AC supply applied to this rectifier, so then for positive up cycle, diode D1 will be forward bias and diode D2 will be reverse bias. So current will flow only through diode 1 and diode D2 will be act as a open circuit. So for positive up cycle, current will flow through diode D1 and load resistance and direction of current is as shown in this figure. So output will be like this in this waveform. Now, for negative up cycle, the polarity of supply will be alternate or interchange like this. So with respect to this polarity, diode D1 will be reverse bias and act as a open circuit, whereas diode D2 will be forward bias and will be conducting. So for negative up cycle, current will be flow through diode D2 and load resistance and the direction of current will be like this. And if you notice the direction of current in both cases is same. So the output will be like this. So in this way, uh, the full wave rectifier converts AC voltage into DC voltage. Again, this DC is not pure DC. This is pulsating DC, which can be further converted into pure DC by using filter circuits. Now let's see the working of full wave bridge rectifier. So this is circuit diagram of full wave bridge rectifier. This rectifier consists of four diodes and their connections are as shown in this figure. So for positive up cycle, polarity of supply will be like this. And so for this polarity, diode D1 and D2 are forward bias and diode D3 and D4 will be reverse bias. So diode D3 and D4 will be act as a open circuit and D1 and D2 will be act as a closed circuit. So current will flow through diode D1, then load resistance RL and diode D2. 
and the output across the load resistance will be as shown in this waveform. For negative up cycle, polarity of supply changes which will be like this. So, for this polarity diode D1 and D2 becomes negative or reverse bias and work as a open circuit. Whereas, diode D3 and D4 will becomes forward bias and will start conducting. So, this time current will flow through diode D3 and load resistance and then diode D4. Now, in both cycle, the direction of current in load resistance is same. So, output will be shown in this waveform. So, in this way, full wave bridge rectifier converts AC voltage into DC voltage. Again, this is pulsating DC which is converted into pure DC by using filter circuit. So, in this way, rectifier converts AC voltage into DC voltage. So, I hope you understand the working of rectifier and like the video. So, give me your feedback or suggestions on my email id. Thanks for watching.